So today we're going to be opening up the Paragon Navigator Boost 2 48 count, but this is a triple jacket double armor cape. So we're going to start with the first layer. And using a tubing cutter, I prefer the tubing cutter because it gives a nice clean cut. You can also do this with, you can take cable cutters and just ratchet it around, or you can use a hook blade razor knife to make your ring. Okay, so now we're just gonna twist, pull this first layer of armor off, and that reveals two strings. We're basically going to cut this. Okay, so now we're down to the second layer of armor. So what we're going to do is we're going to extend the strings down, taking the hook knife and we're going to make a little notch right next to the string. So for demonstration purposes, I'm doing this a little bit differently than someone that's actually prepping the cable to splice. So I'm going to open up the first section so I can get a little bit more view on the second section and then I'll strip the cable back. So basically, I'm just going to walk this cable down, get to a point, get a grip, Now we've got the strings pulled and we're pulling away the first layer of armor. Now, usually you can do, this is your actual recut on your cable. So this is the cut that you have to be very careful that you don't damage anything below. So I usually wait until I have the cable most of the way opened all the way down to it. And my strings are above the ring cut because I'm going to pull the strings through the cut to create an open space on the armor to attach the ground strap. With a double armored cable, you technically by code, you need to provide a, a ground strap for both armors in the cable. And so, right here is my ring cut. I'm going to pull this string past my ring cut about an inch and a half. And that's on both sides. So I'm doing that so that when I pull the jacket, you can see that there's a, a gap. And you can also see the ring cut where I'm able to take the armor, fatigue the armor, Loosen up our water block. All right, so now we're going to set the cutter. And now we have, now we're down to the last layer, so 
we're going to do the same thing. And we're just going to start this one by rolling it down. And so, always try to pull the string. You can't see it on this side, but I try to pull it into the stretch same channel as the other string as I'm pulling it down. Yeah. Sometimes you get lucky and you can go all the way down. Other times you kind of have to uh, direct the string. Pulling it through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the string and I'm going to try to get it down to right here. And same on the opposite side. So once you get it to break, at the ring cut, it's still a little tough, but now you can just peel it off. You can take your strings, you don't even really need to start them. So now, coming down to here, since we've got this with our strap, I don't want to take this all the way down to here. I want to leave a little bit of room. I want to leave about an inch above this. And then once you get down to here, and you get the tear on the ring cut started, now you've got it all up. Now we're going to basically remove all of these buffer tubes and the filler tubes. You're not going to anchor the cable into the enclosure with your ground strap. This is just for grounding. So what, what you want to do is I usually leave about an inch or two above my ground strap and cut that off. So when I put this in, there's usually a captive clamp that will hold the cable into the enclosure. So I'm going to cut away the two dummy tubes. Cable is now ready to enter. 